holding it like this at an angle. And if you can see, it's at an angle, and then very light pressure. You just let it sort of pour off. We've got the brush out. We've got the brush out. Let's get some of this Prussian blue. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughts. <laughs> Penny fear thoughts. So we'll, yeah, we'll do blue sky. I, I want something in our in a bit there. Oh, blue sky. Blue sky. It's going to look good white in that area. You see that? <laughs> see, I put so little liquid white on in areas there's none. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really matter because if you've got sun in some places and the sun is missing in others, well, it'll mix together anyway. Right. Bit more in that corner. Let's drop the old pipe down. Get my brush and my paper. Why? Now I have a think. <laughs> I need to have a think. So I've got an idea. We'll blend this out while we, while we think. Blended, blended, blended. Nothing like a good blend of the old paints. Sky coming right down. Questions to ask ourselves. Do we want clouds? First question. I kind of do actually. I do. I do. I do want clouds. So I want clouds and I want a mountain. I want a mountain right there. Sort of high up there maybe. So we can't have too many clouds can we? You know what we're doing? making this up again. <laughs> We're just making stuff up as we go along. So let's get a tiny bit of crimson and some titanium white. In fact the amount of crimson that was on my brush is enough. I might get some cloud, that's nice. Did you see that? Did you see? Not much. Thank you. Clouds up there. See that? We can choose. I like that cloud actually. I always think about clouds that I see. Uh, that's what I tend to do when I'm painting. I always think about what I've seen. And you get so many different clouds, and we get clouds almost look like there's a face in it and an arm. <laughs> you see all sorts. I mean, it amazes me actually how much you how different clouds are. Some clouds. Just using that fan brush. Got a bit of movement going on, which I like. This is what I was after, really. Movement. The thing is, you do get some interesting patterns, interesting shapes, with a nice thin one there. Just using that fan brush. Maybe that'll do. Maybe that'll do. Maybe that one goes off. Goes off there. Goes off there. Maybe there's another one there. We can do that. Scrap the old uh, two-inch brush again. 
give it a quick wipe. Might zoom in a bit on the camera. Just zoomed in a bit so you can see a bit better when I paint in my mountain and then do this bit as well. It's quite a challenge to zoom in and out because I've got to remember to zoom out. <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, go over this I think. Just go over the top of it, lift it up a bit, lift it up a bit, go across. All the way across, look. I just needed a bit of a blend. You can blend here and there if you'd like. Maybe that needs a bit of a blend there. But you have a look at your sky that you've created and then you can make your ideas come alive. That's the beauty of painting because especially when you're inventing an area you can do whatever you like. I like that. <laughs> no rules you see, no rules, whatever you want to do. So you can go, well I'm doing it like this, this is the way I like it. And I don't care if anyone doesn't like it because it's mine and I like it. Because people always think, oh, you're a painter, you should be selling your paintings. Which is not as easy as it sounds. People always think, oh, you can paint, you must be selling paintings. It's, it's a lot harder to just paint what you... Not harder, it removes your own enjoyment and fun. If, you've got, if you're constantly thinking, oh, I need to paint this to sell it. Where's the enjoyment going to be? It's going to be pressure. You don't want that kind of pressure. Not when you're an artist and you want to create whatever you like. <laughs> so, uh, try using this camera for my uh, close-up. Did you see the close-up? Cut across. So you flatten the paint out. Cut across a little roll of paint. I'm sure you probably already knew. Let's think where our mountain's going to be. That was a mixture of alizarin crimson, Prussian blue and ivory black. <laughs> I forgot to mention. I'm going to have a mountain there. So, you're thinking of your outside shape. The outside shape. Press on quite hard. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice, nice mountain. Liking it. Take some of that away. And there we go. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send that to the uh, Museum of Modern Art. Say like this. This is what I see. <laughs> this is what my heart wanted to say. <laughs> Your museum can buy it off me for a mere mm, 10 million. <laughs> I should use this one inch brush and let's, let's pull this out. Or should we use another two inch? I've got a big canvas. I should use the two inch brush. Right, let's go. We. Prussian blue, the Elizabeth crimson. There we go. Got quite a nice distant look to it, doesn't it? It's nice. I like it. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> you know, you should be saying that. I know I've said it before. You, you want to be excited. Be excited about your painting. You want to be enjoying yourself. Enjoy your painting. I do. I'm excited. 
I'm excited now because I get to put highlights on. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now I've changed knives because this one's been cleaned properly. Not like the terrible cleanliness of the other brush. I mean knife. <laughs> Which isn't clean at all. And now I've got paint all over my fingers. <laughs> Right, so you stand back, have a look at your painting, go da di da di da, where do I want my highlights? Oh, we've got light on that cloud there, look, so it's this way. So we can do that now. Get our white, our white, pull it out, a little roll of paint, cut across, and then we go do 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 do. Right. So we're watching that outside edge as we're doing it. That outside edge bit. Let's see. Ooh, boop. Ooh. Well, we made a right mess of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're not looking properly. There we go. There it is. There it is. Ooh, there we go. That was better. And then we So to get that paint to break it took me a while to get used to it, gotta be honest. You have to use light pressure. Light pressure. You get the, the, the knife loaded with that line of paint, and I used to do really thin lines, and you need a thicker line than you think. And then uh, you're holding it like this, at an angle. And if you can see, it's at an angle, and then very light pressure. You just let it sort of pour off. You get areas like this, like what like. And I can come back with hardly any paint, you know, like that. <laughs> now I tell myself how great I am at doing it. <laughs> oh, it's fun, isn't it? And then there's this little blip there. I quite like that. Blip, a bit of white there. There we go. And we can think about it, mull over it, over a cup of coffee. Ooh, what do we like? What we don't like? What can we change? I quite like it. Get some of this uh, blue. Zip, zip. Some of the white. White and blue. White and blue, white and blue. There we go. Cut across. A little roll of paint again. And then we can go into this shadow. You want to be really light again. Let's get that little bit there. Bloop. And then uh, nice and light. And sort of stand back, have a look at it. I kind of like the idea. in with a white. I like the idea of a uh, another piece. Because when you're painting it, you start seeing things. I can see another piece here. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. I might go with that. Nice distant mountain. Now we can use, let's use that little brush, it's got less paint on it, let's give it a tap, put the 
that. sort of stand back, have a look. Are you happy with it? Do you want to do more? <laughs> mm, I quite like it because it's going to be quite far away anyway. So uh, the only thing I think, you can get really picky like this. I think it needs a bit more on here. you can get. Maybe a bit more there. Yeah. That'll do. Now I want to use a little bit of this white, a little bit of this white, and just sort of clean that up there. Just change things a little bit. Give certain areas a bit more can pull areas forward again like I've done there. Whatever you like. I think we'll go with that. We can send that back now. So let's get the brush, big brush, into this man mixture again. So what I want to do now, I want to put all the trees in front, no the big ones. Sort of like this sort of and I like practicing these trees. Go to about the corner of the brush. We'll bring them to about there, maybe. Another one here, a bit taller, I think. I have to keep checking my camera because if I don't get in the habit of that, we'll end up uh, missing out, missing out a load of this painting. Okay, we've got another one there. So you load, you want to load your brush, really load it. Really low, both sides. Both sides. <laughs> and then corner of the brush. And as you come down, you just put a bit more pressure. these trees are going to be as big, some are going to be smaller, some of them are quite grown here long enough, so they're a bit smaller, and here, here. and they're blue, blue, black, crimson. Further down you go, I tend to switch, switch the uh, brush round. Another one. Let's go that size. This is really great practice, you know. <laughs> it really is great practice. Get them trees going. There's a taller one there. I 
We can make a decision here as well. I like the idea of another tree there. There's another one there. Brown hair, it's just darkness, isn't it? Can put another one in there, maybe. Nice little skinny one. <laughs> Have a look. Hmm, I might have one there. There. I start problem I have, I get loads of ideas. <laughs> while I'm painting and I'm like, oh I could have done this or I could have done that. I'm starting to wonder if I should leave this or I should put some like bushes or something. It's kind of like the idea of something like that. So you can kind of see. Yeah. Yeah, actually. What if you're putting a load of uh, Trees that will start coming out from there. Like that maybe. And then they're getting bigger and bigger as they get over here. Then we've got this nice strip of trees. This one should be bigger. to do. <laughs> so much to do isn't there. Let's just use the knife like this. A little bit more. A little bit more trees behind. Sort of drag that thing up. thought of ways to make it look like there's tons but it's too late <laughs> I've already painted these but it's all right so now what I'm gonna do is I think I'll highlight these trees and then there's not a light coming this way I'll highlight these ones first I might dip into just gonna dip into the liquid white Thin this paint down, you see. I'm gonna thin this down a bit. Get rid of that crimson. Bit of the crimson. Thin down. I can put some snow on these trees. So let's just do the light coming this way. Here. 
areas if you don't want there to be snow you don't put it on just put the snow on where you want it to be a bit of snow there as well So it sticks easily because of the liquid white in it. Something like that. And then these ones, maybe I'll uh, just put a little bit on this bit of an edge here. No, we'll put some on. We want these to be snowy as well. It's not quite as bright. You can see indications of snow. Maybe on these. Maybe I could uh, lighten a few of these up a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right, using my big brush, let's it's missed it up at the base. <laughs> I could always miss that. I'll get a little bit of white on this brush. Just miss that away there. Use this in here. Started. Now what I'm thinking is, what that brush, a little bit of snow, snow, so a little bit of snow up here. I don't mind about the way it's picking up the under colour. into it like that and then here as well I want this bit to be darker so just wipe my brush a little bit and pull the some of this pull some of this out so you can have a, like an area that goes in there <laughs> just by doing that A little bit. Maybe this bit's got some more snow on it. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Let's 
some white. Get that snow going. Nice bit of snow there. Something like that, and then what I'm thinking, what if? Hmm. What if? What if we had a cabin like there, right in amongst these trees, like Cabin's getting bigger. <laughs> so you're scraping it off. Scraping it off. Focusing on that top, that that roof needs to be down and then this the part there needs to be in line with there, so that needs to be like that. Something like that. <laughs> I'm not a perfect cabin builder. You might be amazing, so... Uh, when you do yours, make sure you do it better than mine. <laughs> so here's some dark, Van Dyke brown, cut across, a little roll of paint. We want to get this outside even. Like that, and then get this bit, this bit of the cabin. Putting our dark in. This will be a nice place to hide away from the snowy, cold weather. Could have like a log fire in here. In fact, the guy that owns it, he does have a log fire in here. <laughs> and he's telling me I need a chimney. <laughs> Well, I could put a chimney in, but I need to do the roof first. Anyway, let's put a little bit of highlight in. A bit of that burnt sienna. A little bit of white. Cut grass, a little roll of paint. I actually want a really small roll of paint for this bit. a little bit more. Quite like that. It's probably a little bit too too subtle. <laughs> Lighter for this front bit anyway, because that's where the light is, and we can cut some boards in.
And maybe there'd be a window. There'd be a window over there. Let's pull up, let's go over this blue and white here. That could be a nice bit of window there. Yeah. Might use a bit of this just to go around the door as well. Just gonna wipe my mind. My paper towel has got extremely dirty. snow on the windowsill. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe there's a bit of snow that's on top of the door there. Who knows? Let's get some of this white go across. A little roll of paint. Get the roof in. And this outside bit as well. And then I want to get the uh, chimney, so we did say it would have a chimney. More like that. And I want a bit of a uh, snow on top of the chimney. <laughs> there we go, something like that. Some of this, uh, it's a bit of white, a little bit of the paint thinner there. Let's get some snow up here. Yeah, a nice little cabin there. Okay, I might get some of this blue and Maybe we can have a path. Maybe there's a path that goes down here. And it goes there. Maybe he goes off here. Mm -hmm. I can get some more snow going across. Maybe this is another tree right there. <laughs> Why not? Let's get some of this dark. What if there's a tree and it it's right here? Feels like there should be one right there. Right there. Dark, some crimson. And a big tree right here. He 
to cast in a bit of a shadow. You'd cast a huge shadow in here. Yeah, maybe there's a tree there. Maybe there's some bushes here. We could do that. Like the idea of some bushes there. make things up as we go along. I want some snow. And get this sort of snow brought together. Yeah. Maybe the path comes round. Maybe it does. Maybe the path goes round that tree. Comes over here. to highlight the big, big tree. So I wanted to, the two things I wanted to do is practice big trees. <laughs> and uh, practice painting cabins. So we can do both, do both. Just get some liquid white into my brush. Put a bit of snow on this tree. Whenever we want snow. Sort of stand back, have a look at that. There we go, something like that. <laughs> Maybe I could do a bit of a uh, trunk in that. Put that brown. Maybe you would see a bit. <laughs> Let's get some uh, dark. Let's use this brush. Use a two inch brush, might as well. Some dark. And over this side as well. Get some all the darks. Here as well. 
put a little bit on here. So this isn't completely like smooth. Gives that bit a little bit more texture. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then here's the knife to just creak in a few. Uh, Use the one inch brush to uh, take out some titanium white. I'm going to put some snow. Yeah, quite like that. <laughs> Maybe I could uh, do a bit of removal there. some twigs here and there. I think, I think, maybe I can put in a little bush there. Why not? <laughs> Once you start doing them, you start enjoying them. And maybe we'll call this one This one finished. A few bushes here and there. Just to break up the uh, colour. A bit dark in it. Yes, we've got this one finished, so thanks very much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it gave you some ideas, and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.